Kothai, who heads the paradox, uh, the entire the student life and other uh, the major activities of the student life and uh, and the paradox. And we also have the student secretaries. Uh, Shruti is also here. Shruti, uh, you now you can start the presentation. Uh, so I, I'm going to send another reminder uh, mail <clears throat> just now as we speak. So in case if some students have not seen the mail, so that they can also join. Um, yeah. So over to you, uh, Shruti. Yes, sir. Uh, thank you, sir. I think uh, we'll get started. Um, Ashwin, can you press in the screen? Yes, give me a second. Yeah. Okay, guys. Uh, so a very good afternoon to everyone present here. Uh, so I'll just introduce myself. I'm Shruti and currently I'm doing BS Data Science and uh, uh, I'm in the diploma level. So uh, Ashwin, Anurag and I are the secretaries of Paradox 24. So before, you know, again, Paradox. So what is Paradox all about? Um, so before that, um, uh, we see that you guys will be coming to campus in the month of December uh, for your lab activities. Um, coming to campus and like experiencing the labs of IIT Madras is something huge. So, uh, you know, it's, it's amazing that you guys get to do that. Uh, now, you know, so just like how you can come to campus in the month of December and January and a few more uh, days here, in the month of May, when you come to campus, you'll be experiencing the uh, height of student activities of the BS degree. So that is Paradox. Paradox is actually a, a four day fest, offline fest for this online degree. So this is where you can actually network and uh, you, know, you can meet your friends and uh, your professors. And uh, it is not just uh, it's not only enjoyment, nor is it uh, full of um, workshops and happy thoughts. It's a mixture of everything. So uh, you know, I just don't want to keep talking. You know, maybe we'll just see a small trailer uh, that will uh, a, a, a visual treat, which will show you what Paradox is all about. So this is the after movie of Paradox 22. This is what happened in Paradox 22. Um, Ashwin, there's no audio. Okay. Give me a second. So what you saw right here is, uh, you know, as you've seen, starting from uh, 5 a.m. Um, walkathons, actually it was a, it's a marathon, where it's a campus run. Uh, they started at 5 a.m. and uh, you go around the campus. We have a fixed route and just like a marathon, um, there, there was a campus run. And start that, starting from that to late night, um, you know, music events. We had a DJ night last year. So everything, uh, and it comes to paradox, 
all the students will be able to experience the actual uh, fest experience. So we also have uh, technicals and uh, sports and culturals not also we have all that uh, when it comes to technicals we have hackathons and uh, uh, you know a lot of uh, events it, it, it's related to robotics and then workshops and all that so last year uh, what happened was we had a hackathon in which the winner actually got a 75000 cash prize the runner up got 50000 and and the third place got 25000 apart from that the winner also got internship opportunities uh, in that particular company so when you come to paradox it is uh, you can enjoy experience the uh, campus life as well as get a, a lot of uh, opportunities when it comes to the professional firm. So um, I'll, let's just go into the hierarchy of paradox. That is, um, when you look at this, you know, the screen, you see a lot of people, right? So managing this whole fest is something that uh, is going to be a huge deal. And given the fact that we are an online degree, pulling this off is going to be a very big deal. So. Uh, the day Paradox 22 ended, the next day we started working for Paradox 23. That's how much planning goes into this whole fest. So um, coming to the hierarchy, hierarchy is basically, uh, you know, how, you know, hierarchy is simple. When you take any organization, there are going to be a lot of people working and uh, this is how it goes. When it comes to a steering committee, it's basically previous year FEST uh, secretaries and also Kore Ma'am, the head of student affairs. They will be, uh, you know, the, uh, they'll be guiding the secretaries and uh, we, uh, if we have any doubts or if we need any help, we always go to the steering committee. So then comes course. Core is basically we have 12 departments which we will come after this and uh, that uh, we will talk about that. Uh, yeah, then comes super coordinators, coordinators and volunteers. I guess they are, they are quite self-explanatory. So once we go to recruitment, we'll talk about that. Now, Paradox is not just uh, the, month, the month of May. It is also, it also happens in the month of um you know, right now it got over in the month of September and then one in January. They are not offline fests. They are online fests. So we have Savin in Paradox and then we have Marguerite in Paradox. Both of them are online fests. They also are for four days. And we have a lot of uh, online events, culturals, esports, such as Clash of Clans and uh, chess and all that. This time, uh, one of our, our students uh, won against a uh, grandmaster uh, who was called in to play. So, um, and then we have uh, yeah, cultural technicals also. We have a lot of hackathons, a lot of Python coding challenges. So, the, all these are related to uh, data science right now. Now that we have ES, uh, when you guys come into the team, we will have workshops and a lot of talks and, you know, we'll have uh, events that can be curated for, which are more relevant for electrical, uh, you know, engineering students. So that is why we really need you into the team so that uh, the fest, when it comes to the technical front, is also relevant for you guys. So now what you're looking at is the teams and departments of Paradox. So I think uh, we'll go one a team by team because when we have a big fest, we, we, we have to like, you know, split it to different departments so that it's easier for us to operate. So let's first start with culturals. Again, culturals is when it comes to music, dance, DJ nights, and everything and anything that uh, comes under, uh, uh, you know, Cultures comes under this. So this starts when you're in the organizing team, you get to submit proposals. As in, um, one thing is you will have to manage guests. You'll have to bring in guests and then organize the events. And you'll have to, uh, uh, you know, work 
you have to work in such a way that the event becomes a success so i, I think uh, uh, when we had the chennai meetup we had a few people who were um, singers and dancers and who actually took part in saving too so people who uh, are quite good at uh, music and dance and uh, it's not only that it's also you know a uh, treasure hunt and uh, pitch uh, pitching uh, and uh, you have a lot of things there like shark tank everything that you see in college fests will be here if you want if you want it online you can come in for savan and marguerite but the grand thing happens in the month of uh, may uh, which is paradox the main paradox moving to the next department yeah technicals anurag uh, can you take over Are you here, Anurag? Am I audible? Yeah. Okay. Uh, so technical events are ranging from everything, starting from workshops to high-level hackathons. Uh, we cover basically all the domains in technical events. Uh, so as of now, since we had only data science students in our degree, so most of our technical events revolved around data science. But now that we have ES ES degree students uh, in the team, uh, we'll also we look forward for your feedback. about what kind of uh, events we can include in technical events and uh, when i say technical events uh, it might sound a bit intimidating but trust me uh, we cover every specific domain even for from beginners to intermediate to advanced everyone has something they can participate in technicals uh, we start from basic uh, python coding challenge to high level uh, image processing workshops everything and uh, uh technical events are one of the most uh, uh what do you say most participated events because we offer a huge range of prizes for technical events uh, that our sponsors uh, provide and uh, using this uh, since our degree revolves around uh, technicalities like even if you go for data science and be it uh, electrical science everything revolves around technical so i uh, i'm antip- anticipating most of our students uh, you will be coming uh to participate in technical events and uh, as shruti already mentioned that to be also provide internships like uh, not us but our sponsors uh, they also provide internships to the winners so we look forward for your participation thank you uh shruti would you like to take over so sports is again self explanatory here we have three event teams which is cultural sports and technicals so sports is a third uh, event team group and uh, now when it comes to savan and marguerite it will be e sports as i already mentioned uh, chess and uh, clash of clans all uh, you know video games and all that and uh, when it comes to the offline paradox we will have uh, cricket uh, football and uh, you know uh, again the run and all that we we'll have a lot of uh, sporting events so we also had something called uh, organizers with versus instructors where uh, we had a cricket uh, tournament and uh, in paradox 22 um, the uh, instructors course intra- instructors and professors actually won and in paradox 23 the organizers won so it's one uh, and one and uh, i think in paradox 24 will be settling this uh, so you know i hope the students will this same yeah sports is done student relations another uh so student relations will uh, is a department uh, as it is already mentioned it covers the link between students and paradox so uh, as i've already mentioned in the chat i have put a, a, a recruitment form along with the support email ids so as soon as you drop an email to this support email ids our student relation teams gets into comes into picture uh, they'll take in your query they'll uh, reply to you uh, with the most apt answer uh any sort of queries you have any sort of ideas you have you can drop your email to uh, our uh, ids and student relation teams uh will get back to you and not just that student relation team also handles everything starting from distributing certificates uh to all sort of communication creating form registrations and support as i already mentioned uh so student relation is basically the backbone of paradox most of the critical tasks are performed by student relations uh so yeah that's all about it 
the the ppt that you're seeing right now is actually made by the student relations team so that's how important that department is ashwin so the next department uh, we have hospitality operations so basically we'll have around the 3000 students on campus during may so these 3000 students uh, we have to provide them with accommodation food and you know bedding pillows mattresses everything so this is a huge logistical nightmare so we this hospitality operation team ensures that all students uh, you know are allotted a hostel room they are given proper bedding and uh, they take care of the mess and the food of the students so this uh, department you know involves a lot of logistics work uh, which has you know a huge uh, uh, impact on the fest so yeah. and also hospitality operation takes care of the guests that come to the uh, paradox fest so we have many important people coming as judges mentors and you know guest for events so their accommodation their travel their food and everything will be taken care by this hospitality operations team so yeah so as uh, you you people will be coming to uh, the campus on uh, you know in the month of december and i think two more times before the fest so your familiarity with the campus will be of uh, you know uh, it will be a good it will be a good thing for us because if you're joining this team the accommodation team then uh, you guys can actually uh, do a get good thing by joining that team yeah yeah next comes finance organizing a fest of this scale requires you know proper budgeting proper financial planning and everything we cannot uh, you know even for collecting the registration fee we have to you know predict or forecast what uh, things we might need to purchase and based on that we'll fix a registration fee we'll collect it uh, we we'll, you know budget that uh, amount that we have we we'll allocate budgets to each department and we'll also see if the department is is that department spending wisely or are they you know just uh, uh, using the money for you know un unused products so everything comes under finance they let's say you are an event head you organize an event and you buy something for the event now reimbursing the amount that is done by finance team so yeah uh, everything related to money budgeting and finance everything is handled by the finance team coming next we have sponsorship sponsorship is uh, the team which deals with uh, you know the financial support that we get from company it's not only the financial support it's also partnering with them for example for internships and uh, anything that they can uh, provide for example some uh, companies uh, they give their uh, you know speakers so uh, when we attend those workshops and uh, you know those sessions we'll actually get a good uh, you know Uh, insight into their company or that particular uh, field so uh, when we partner with a lot of companies then the value of the fest also increases so and it comes to in kind sponsorship or you know uh, last time we had a good beverage partner and where they gave free drinks to everyone uh, hell energy we had that uh, so again uh, i was talking about this uh, uh, you know technical event which gave off which gave away 75000 as first prize said that was also sponsored by the company which actually had the event uh, on campus so when it comes to sponsorship this is where you can actually get to meet uh, senior executives of the company and like a talk with them converse with them know what the company actually wants so uh, on the professional front joining this team will be very useful for you and uh, you will also be mentored by a professional if you, if you join this team so this is a serious team but again it also comes with a lot of serious responsibilities uh so multimedia production is something uh we have so basically we had three different departments earlier uh, to this paradox uh that is design another is pr and another is videography and photography so this time what you have done is we have merged all these department into one department called multimedia production 
So as I already mentioned, multimedia production will be taking care of uh, design and templates. Everything, even uh, the Paradox logo, even uh, the Fest logo, everything will be designed by the multimedia production team. And not just that, uh, they'll also be taking care of the PR. Uh, every email, if you if you are following us on Instagram, you you would have seen uh, we keep releasing something or the other every other day. Uh, there are posts, stories, everything. So those posts and stories are designed by the multimedia production team and also posted by the multimedia production team. Apart from that, uh, when we go into the campus, you'll see uh, a lot of our volunteers are taking videos and photographs throughout the events uh, to make sure that we have all those sweet little memories uh, in our uh, Google Drive. Uh, so that will also be taken care of by the multimedia production team. Uh, and not just that, the multimedia production team will also take care of the ambience of Paradox. Any venue, any place you go during Paradox, you will you will see that it uh, aligns with your theme, the theme of the fest. All of those will be taken care of uh, the multimedia production team. Uh, so yeah, that is all about it. Sales and merchandising is the team which will handle uh, you know the fest uh, merch that is uh, if okay you, you guys are new to uh, uh, the degree so uh, for paradox 22 and 23 we had uh, merch i'm sure you'll know about the bs merch uh, which will say uh, okay even that i'm not sure if you guys know but the thing is uh, you have paradox 24 written and then like you'll have some pictures of the sponsors basically when you go to any college fest you'll get t-shirts right so just like that it's not only about t-shirts uh, if you join the team and you have other ideas for example pens you know during margari um, we also gave pens diaries files and uh, um, this time maybe we are even looking at uh, you know giving water bottles and a lot more so you will be working alongside uh, the uh, design team so whatever product you want uh, the design team will get the design you have to bring that in and then find vendors and then negotiate with them and make sure that the, um, you know, goods or anything and everything and ordering, they reach campus on time and then even selling that, promoting uh, all that. We also are planning to have online selling this time. So when it comes to this, this department is all about your uh, communication skills, your negotiation skills and your creativity. So when you know what, uh, when, when you look at this, the fest from a participant point of view, anything and everything that you will want there, you can make it happen if you join this team. Uh, so when you visit, when you come to campus during Paradox, uh, some of you might have some queries about uh, uh, what is the scene with security? How safe are we inside campus? So let me assure you that by default, the campus is very safe for everyone. Uh, but additional to that, we also have a security team in place who will be taking care of all our students' uh, uh, problems related to security. Any problem you have in the middle of the night, you need to visit any emergency, you need to visit hospital, anywhere, anything, our security personnel, will, uh, security volunteers will take care of it. Uh, you don't have to reach out to campus security directly, just give a call to our uh, a de designated number one of our security volunteers will come to you and uh, assign you, uh, like uh, assist you throughout any of your issue. Uh, so yeah, and not just that, even our security volunteers also are present in each and every venue to make sure that there are uh, no inappropriate behavior anywhere and to maintain uh, uh, a whole sense of security, to give a whole sense of security to our students. So, you know, uh, FR is a department which I would say is the backbone of Paradox. So, anything that uh, event needs, uh, you know, should, will be arranged by the FR team. So, these are the uh, people who buy and procure items from outside IITM or inside IITM. Let's say, as an event, you need mics, as an event, you need stationary items. And even in the setup that we have in the student activity center for cultural light, the lights, lasers, smokes, everything you know is arranged by the facilities and requirements team, from water cans to uh, any anything that is required by the event teams. 
so this is the backbone of the fest basically without this department there would be no uh, uh, you know uh, events that is being organized also the venue bookings in iit madras you have to book all the venues in advance so that we can use those venues so even venue bookings and planning everything is done by this department so uh, this is a very important department if you want to look after logistics uh, this would be the great place that you want to be part of and the last department that we have is the web ops team so the registration website that we will be having we will we, also have many internal applications we have an internal application for finance and fr so if let's say you need a, a stationary item for a event you upload that in the fr portal it goes to the finance portal for uploading bills so all these uh, devops related and application development is done by the web ops team even the savan website that you saw uh, everything you know is developed by the web ops team so the uh, web ops team you know is the technical uh, part of the paradox team so if you are good with development app development web application development or you know even uh, cloud hosting you can join this web ops team so uh, these are the uh, departments that we have if you have if you you know like to join any department see everything we do here is you know very professional let's say even anurag was telling that in as part of multimedia production we will do photography and videography so photography and videography we will hire professional cameras from outside iit madras we will give those cameras to the photography and videography team so you will get a chance to use those cameras and uh, you, you will get a professional gear to take pro photography and everything and also in the web ops team we'll, we are having gcp hosting so yeah uh, that's how uh, it, it works in all departments so yes uh, this is the departments that we have in fire over to you so yeah the uh, as ashwin said this is a very uh, professional environment because as you guys know we have to pull off a fest a four day fest which will be handling around 3000 people and uh, will be catering to uh, you know we'll try our best to cater to the needs of everyone and uh, They, we had around 60 plus events when it came to uh, paradox 23 and this year we planning to have more events uh, and now coming to margil because we just uh, saavan just ended uh, i think like a month back it was from 14th of september to the uh, 17th of september now margil will happen in the month of january uh, so we will release the date soon uh, it will be in the first week of january uh, now if any of you are interested in conducting an event in markery then we will be sending a mail called it, it will be basically accepting proposals so uh, for example i just uh, let, let's say that i want to uh, conduct a music event so uh, uh, we will have a proposal format we will uh, send it to you and you can uh, you know uh, just give the details of how you would like to present it see uh, all uh, you know we will give you the platform to stream your event uh, and uh, we will also do pr uh, in uh, you know the uh, paradox uh, instagram uh, linkedin and also will be sending mails will be promoting your event uh through uh, you know our mailing list and all that but uh, at the same time uh, Uh, you have to come up with the team and uh, if you are okay with organize if you are interested in organizing you can of course do so so that is also there now if the event is a big success in margali then you can take that event and do it offline in the month of uh, may that that is when it comes to main paradox so uh, today uh, this meet is about joining the paradox team the organizing team so that's what we're going to talk that, that's what we're uh, talking about uh, now uh, the recruitment form that uh, we will be uh, that that we, we have just opened the recruitment forms for the well said departments uh, that you know we were talking about for this long so uh, we we've opened recruitment forms if you feel that you're a good fit for uh, a particular uh, department you can always uh, open the form fill the form and uh, when when the core of the department looks into it they feel that you'll be a good fit then you will be taken into the team and you can start working as much as this is a professional setup uh, when you come into the team and 
you start working you make a lot of connections and you make a lot of new friends because you guys are working together and you will find a lot of people who have similar uh, tastes and uh, you know who like the same thing for example if you're in the cultural scene you'll find uh, you know a fellow person who's also interested in singing and uh, it's it's a lot of fun right because this is an online degree you can if this was this were an offline degree we could have done that and we don't need a fest to do that but the fact that this is online we have to really harness this paradox the organizing team as such to find people and to uh, you know make this experience as an online degree to be more uh, lively and something that you can enjoy so yeah um and yeah uh you see on on a very light note the way the whole idea of paradox started in 2022 was that a few people were uh, who knew each other from you know for a while they were like hey why can't we have an offline fest uh, on campus uh, for everyone so slowly it started building up and then you know uh, we had uh, just five departments at the start and we had a very few uh, events and then like people came on campus and they were working so uh, you know we had something called fest heads so we have grown a lot from paradox 20 Paradox twenty two to twenty three, twenty three to twenty four. Now we are still a growing organization. So we would love to have more people, and you know, or we would love to hear all your ideas. Integrate this, uh, you know, your ideas and all your inputs, and make this uh, a even better fest when it comes to Paradox twenty four. So uh, again, if you guys, join, we would like to have. I mean, I have to start cutting for everything, sir. Yeah, hello, sir. we would really like to have workshops that are curated for uh, you know electrical engineering so uh, so all the es students if you come into the team then you can curate stuff that are uh, you know that will be useful for uh, your degree so we really need uh, your support when it comes to the paradox team now yeah uh, i think uh, Uh, Ashwin and Anurag, do you have anything more to say, or shall we take questions? No, we have an after movie of Paradox Twenty Three. Maybe if you can, uh, you know, see. Yeah. Yeah. Hello, ma'am. Ma'am, myself, I. Hyderabad from Kerala from Haryana from Karnataka Jaipur Rajasthan main Mumbai se hu Uttar Pradesh from Madurai from Chandigarh from Patna Bihar from Noida Haryana from Jaipur from Mumbai from Delhi from Lucknow from Kashmir from Manipur from Ahmedabad Gujarat from West Bengal from Jharkhand opens up the opportunity for all ages across the india to pursue their interests at any age being well friends with the industry paradox is like one of those events where you get to meet your friends uh, find your passion and do whatever you want to do so i'm really excited about it
so that's how paradox 23 went so to clear it uh, of again uh, we have paradox in sarvan now one question list. no I, uh, i'll just give you the uh, you know someone asked if it was online or offline so paradox in sarvan is online it happens in the month of september paradox in margari is online again the month of january the main paradox in the month of may and this year the dates would be 28th of may to 2nd of june so that will be offline yeah ashwin and anurag do you have, guys have anything to add on or shall we go to questions no uh kodi oh. would you like to add anything yeah mm, not necessarily i think it was one one question yeah somebody has a question please go ahead yeah, yeah ma'am ma'am this is ayush rator ma'am uh, i want to ask that how how do we prepare for uh, the cultural uh, events like the dance and uh, singing uh, we, uh, in groups okay, so uh, i'll uh, tell you briefly so far what has happened is uh, initially you do all the practice online right the team usually they find a way to practice online but we give them um, a week's time like for example if paradox starts this friday then maybe you can come a week earlier stay on campus and we'll provide you certain spaces where you can practice dance for example and music there is a music room so yeah but it is going to be limited time period where you can meet offline and practice you, if, if it's a team dance or uh, something uh, that you have to practice together you can start doing it in online mode for you know two months or so and then uh, you will get time to have your sound check and all that on stage before the final uh, performance so the cultural uh, head will uh, the core team will uh, you know of course a lot time for you to practice on stage also Okay. And there will be individual dances also, like solo dance and solo music. Yes, yes, uh, yes. Right. It depends, like, the, but definitely there will be individual performances also. So you can wait for that. Even online for Margali, there will be uh, lots of uh, competitions usually for dance, music, etc. Keep uh, waiting for the website to come up. And once the Margali website is there, you can go and check the website for the kind of events that are there. And if you want, you can register in the website and also. the respective teams will be sending out some emails to all students uh, pub, you know uh, publicizing what kind of event they have and uh, with a form for you to register for respective events and it is the same for uh, may also yeah ma'am it, it will be offline off na that you are saying uh, marvel event margali is online unfortunately last year it was offline but this year we have made uh we have come to a conclusion that both savan and margali will be on offline i'm uh, sorry online and only the paradox in may that is offline that you come to campus okay i'm talking about paradox okay you coming for your lab work is different so i'm just confirming yeah that's it right anyone okay, else any you, questions if you have uh, you know uh, questions later on about uh, you know how long you have to work for you know if i join this department or um, how do i know whether i'm good at this department or anything that you want we will be conducting live sessions for recruitment uh, that uh, you will soon get in your mail i agree sir said uh, he will you know uh, in forward the mail to you guys um, after this meet because we had to do an intro introduction before we just you know walk by you with mail right so after this um, Uh, meet you will get uh, the recruitment forms and any doubts you have we'll have live sessions for that any doubts you have about paradox as a whole and not for the organizing team we will have a lot of query sessions or you can always write to support uh, you know paradox support uh, we will also you know send that in the chat box so any doubts you can ask us that also can we participate in events if we are in organizing team you can participate in events uh, which you are not organizing for example if i'm partic- if i'm organizing a dance event and i want to take part in a hackathon uh, then of course i can do that just make sure the timing doesn't clash yeah
obviously paradox is not compulsory guys there are around 20000 students and we don't have the capacity to even if if 20000 are willing somehow we have to cap it up around 5000 or something that's all any year this is part of student activities and uh, it will also give you a lot of exposure so that's the first point sure uh, also guys i think there is some confusion uh, between different types of recruitments that we do uh so this recruitment form that we rolled out this is for the core paradox committee uh like the core positions all core departments but uh, let's say you apply for this departments and you don't get selected then you still have an option uh to get recruited as the event organizer as an event organizer uh, let's say uh, there is a for right now we'll be recruiting a core or the core team for technical teams uh, technical department all technical events and let's say you're interested you applied and you didn't get selected uh, then the other option that you have is come back to us uh, by proposing a technical event and then uh, the current technical core team if your proposal is good they'll be selecting it and then uh, you'll become an organizer for technical event even then you'll have an option to work with paradox and let's say even there you did not get selected then you can uh, join us directly as participants and come to paradox and just enjoy your stay uh we have released a, a job description uh, link in the chat box you guys can have a look at it for different departments for for role number it is basically your email id the official s mail that you get for example we have 21f1 you will have something like that if you haven't received it you will soon receive it. uh once the pod gives it to you you can use it yeah they all have received the student email id uh, ah, then then basically the the number the alpha numeric uh, string that you get that is your uh, role number the first part so any other doubts uh running events other than uh, marathon like 100 meter 200 meters we haven't had anything in paradox 23 uh and 22 uh this time we have still not received any proposals for such events so um based on that we will decide and if you want to organize you can of course you know put in your proposal uh, ma'am yes, yes. Um, what is the use of this uh, group leaders? We have this Kazira ka group, uh, different oh, okay. groups. Okay, so what are their roles? This is a student government. We do have a student government. Um, basically, uh, for to maintain you, you're all online, right? To have a student community in place, we have divided. We have given group numbers to all the exam centers. Okay. so based on your exam centers we allot you groups so basically the people in your group will be from the same city or same region or some nearby cities at least okay number 1 and these groups will be randomly allotted or uh, uh, into various houses there are 12 houses are there so houses are houses will have uh, different groups which may be from different parts of the country okay so many people get confused i am from sachan sat city why am i in kaziranga house because it is far away from my town or city so they they feel that but houses are kind of irrelevant it is a mix of all people from all over india okay and also some outside the country um and uh, each group you will have to i think even you guys you you are already allotted so you will have to elect one group leader who will act as a point of contact for everything Uh, and act as a medium in between you and the house secretary houses will have we already elections are over for this year so maybe next year you can be part of the elections and you can also become a secretary of a house so house houses have a secretary and deputy secretary and there will be one web ops one person or a team of person and that house will have its own website and you will have your own um, g space or whatsapp group i don't know whatever it is to communicate among yourselves so just 
any kind of doubts academic everything anything and everything uh, before writing to support it is better if you are on your own you are already online so rather than feeling left out and not knowing what to do you can definitely contact your uh, other uh, group members who may be in your own city and you can even have a small informal meet somewhere just a coffee shop somewhere and meet and you know you can even study together and that helps a lot so if we leave that is why we have uh, you know built such a structure where you can make use of uh, people and you can be uh, you know uh, for for all academic as well as extracurricular activities and personal friendship also okay ma'am like we can also contest with these groups in paradox okay i'll tell you that is paradox is a different thing i'll under student activities we have a student government that is the house the groups houses and all the house secretaries and deputy secretaries of house they will make the upper house council usually the upper house council meets every two weeks or something and we make the guidelines or decisions and whatever the student problems they bring it up that's that's different this is a student government there are there is another vertical clubs and societies so there are lots of societies dance music theater uh, film society n number of tech society and n number of societies around 2025 we will come up with a list and uh, we'll be giving all the details in the student uh, handbook we are kind of updating about it right so societies and clubs are for your to develop your uh, passion to share your passion and interest and uh, if you want to spend time so you can join any number of societies and even if you are interested in starting a new society first you have to we have a, a, a hierarchy of societies like you can start any number of clubs or societies within your house first so within your house you run a, a club and if it is successful and you think okay i would like to expand it to pan bs that means both uh, data science and uh, es students everyone can be part of that society then you apply after a term or something when you are very successful and you want to expand for all the bs degree then you become a society we provide you an official id and you can function as a society this is the second vertical and the third one is the paradox vertical okay paradox it is on its own it has its own organization and everything as you saw now and uh, paradox is like we have three versions of paradox pa paradox in savan that happens uh, after the first uh, uh, what in a year first not not first term may term uh, after the end of may term by september or end of august you will have paradox in savan and uh, by the end of uh, the september term by december jan you will have paradox in margali that's online fest and then by the end of uh, jan term that is paradox in may that's the offline fest so this is a whole different thing paradox is whole different thing these are the ways in which you may be interacting with in any kind of student activities clear clear uh just to add on to what kodai uh, said we will uh, you know we will provide all this information in the student handbook as of now the, for uh, in the student handbook that we have provided these details are not uh, in in detail we have not provided this but uh, we will be updating that and so that you can uh, go through that okay and uh, oh group members basically i think we have mailed you which group you belong to and which house you belong to um but then if you if you want to know anything about how to join your group or something just write to the your house secretary and i have shared a link also to your secretary link whichever house nam the nam the for for example just write to your secretary and uh, and they should also kind of send a link and invite you to join a group a house group whatever it is and they should also put you in touch with the uh group leader if they already there no you may not have a group leader already because we have put all es students together in groups so you may in your group you will have only es degree students but in the house you will interact with the uh, all uh, other ds degree students also fine so just write to your secretary first thing so he will help you out yeah basketball was there i think last year anyway so girish Yeah, 
Are we done? Yeah, any other questions? Uh... I think this they can write to either for, for paradox related issues, you can write to paradox support. For any other uh, societies or houses or groups, you can write to student affairs email, right? And and then on from now on, if once you become part of the group and houses, then you will come uh, come to know about other things also as a community. Okay, so we look forward and we welcome you into our student community, and we uh, also are looking forward to lots of contributions from your end and have a good time here, guys. Yes, it is different from Sarang Shastra, but you can participate in Sarang Shastra as well. So are we closing the meet, Girish? Yeah, yeah. Thanks. Uh, thank you so much, uh, Koday, uh, Shruti, Anurag, and uh, Ashwin for... Uh, uh, for uh, you know, providing all the information related to Paradox and uh, other details. Uh, so uh, I will be sharing that uh, recruitment form with all the students uh, you know, after the session. And, uh, and please go through the details and also the, the, uh, the details regarding you know, the roles and responsibilities, even that uh, I'm going to share. And then uh, please have a look at it. Uh, please participate well. Uh, and uh, and as uh, Shruti mentioned, it is not just about uh, you no know, participating; it's, it's also about responsibility. So uh, it will give you a great opportunity, uh, you know, uh, to be part of this uh, uh, community. So thanks, everyone. Thanks, Kothai. Uh, thanks, uh, Shruti, Anurag, and uh, Ashwin. And uh, students, please, uh, you know, uh, wait for the email. Please fill the form, and if you have any queries, please write to us. Uh, anything else, Kothai? No, that's it. Thank you, guys. We are looking forward to your uh, vibrant competition and participation. You know, this time we can even have ES versus BS uh, matches. All that can uh, be done. So, uh, in more than our merrier rates. So, all that can be done if we see active participation from you guys. Yeah. Looking forward to having you all in the team. Thank you. Thank you so much. Uh, we'll end the session uh, and uh, um, yeah, look forward to uh, participation from all the students. Thanks, everyone. Thank you, guys.